Mm. All right, let's get some church in here. Uh, Lionel Tape performing uh, Victory with Friends. I just realized that all of them have only the same shoes. Well, not the same one, but the same colors. Nice. All right. Our next guest was wrongfully accused and sentenced to serve 12 years in prison. And uh, he wrote about it. His book, Prescription to Prison. His name, Kevon Irving. And I suspect, as I say, good morning, sir. Good as morning. I su suspect the name came from the fact that he was on his way to fill a prescription for his younger sister. Kidnapped by a taxi driver. Then they picked up a lady and kidnapped the lady also. And raped the lady. He reported it and he was charged for the rape. Oh, so. Yes, yes, that's how it is. Then what happened? Well, after I reported it, um, I was went back to work because I was working at the time. I went back to work and I was there, got a call from the police that they have some questions, right? So I went in and that was when I was told that I would be charged based on suspicion, right? So I actually was locked up. I did seven days in Spanish town lockup before the matter was brought before the court. This is after you were held at gunpoint. At gunpoint, yes. Taken to an age. It, had to withdraw all yes, kind of money yes, for the people. I was the first one that made the report and I told them that a young lady had gotten raped. And based on the report that I made, they did their investigations and they found out and they found her. And she said it yes, was you who yes, raped they her? They took her statement, then they took mine and said, Mr. Irving, you're free to go. And the following day, they called me back and they said they're going to lock me up on suspicion. Did she say that the other men raped her also, or she just said it was yeah, she you said five men, all right, She said that five men raped her, and I was a part of the five. She said I had a 45 with an extension clip. Right. Wow. What was that like, though, that feeling when you, did you, obviously you feared that you were going to be killed? Well, I was, the, the, the feeling, I had given up that night. That's why I think that was the reason why I didn't try anything in that car, because I had given up because <coughs> you two we're guns were po pointed at you. Right, so I was in fear. Right, I was in shock. You never had any thought of running? Well, the door, to... the door on the car was actually, um, the, the chai lock was on. So there is no way of pulling the door and jumping from the car. So when you tried to pull the door, it would not have opened. Which area was this? This was in the Bagua Gorge in St. Catherine. What time? It was around 8.30 because I got through about after eight at the pharmacy. And you were sentenced to 19 years. Yes, I got But because, as they say, it runs concurrently, concurrently you were only so going to do five. To five. But you did two. Two years and five months. And you were on bail for 11 years? For 11 years, yes. So the matter, the, the incident was 2007, right? Um, I did, uh, I got locked up 2008. I... In 2000, I did two years and five months at the general penitentiary, and I was it, the case was before the courts for two, 12 years and about seven months. And finally, you were freed in 2020. 2020. February. What's the worst thing happened to you in, in prison? Well, in prison, um, it's not a bed of roses. The worst thing I was actually they came to search the prison one day, and I was in in the cell from the evening before because we get locked down from after two in the evenings and they normally let us out after eight and we were in the cell while that ser the searches were being carried out until after one the afternoon the next day the next yes so so you were in this cell for like 23 hours 20, yes straight yes yeah. straight yes straight yes about that so you know go back to one thing well there was a, a we we all have some um you know the one gallon plastic bottles that's what you have to use in, the, in there. So each prisoner has one of those. And the, the, the cell is so small that three persons cannot sleep on the floor. So two on the floor and one in a hammock. Where you sleep? I was on the floor, of course, because... On the floor, floor, yes, floor. No, I got, a, I got a mattress. If, I, if you're not one of the lucky ones to get one of those mattresses, you have to use clothes or some other thing to sleep on. 
Was there a best thing that happened to you in jail? <laughs> well, um, actually being able, or every time I get the opportunity to tell the story, I actually tell it because there is actually, even though I believe in, I'm a Christian, and Joseph's story is the one that struck me the most because despite all the challenges, one day you know that you will succeed. You gonna sue the government for this? I have had that question asked a million times, but um, prescription to prison is my lawsuit. Reason being, I don't think I want to be back before the courts another 10 years. The, the, the process, it, it, it's time, it, it, it takes time. And I think this telling this story is enough for me. Have you ever had a chance to speak with that lady and ask her why, why she said what she did? Well, I have not seen her since the case. So I have not seen but her. But if you see her now, you would know who she yes, was? Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely, I would. I would. So did they do an identification parade and she come out and say, see him there, nothing like that? None was done. And the funny part about this case is that the DNA was not brought in the court. And that would have been that, 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 would, that have would have been freed key. you. Yes, that would have been key. Wow. Where can we get the book? Um, I have copies of the book. Um, I may be contacted at 878-4406. Um, the book is also on Amazon. So for now, I, I have copies. I'm trying to get them in the bookstores. But until then, um, persons may get in touch with me. A prescription to prison. What a name. But again, he was just going to a pharmacy to fill a prescription for his um, younger sister. Yes. Glad it worked out for you. Yes, glad that is good. Work. Glad it worked out that for you. Good. Wow. Prescription to prison. Kevon Irving. We're gonna go for a break and we come back in just a little while. Garth and I will have a little chat. Stay with us please, soon come.